Upgrade Stream plus no CP. As a game assistant, Shen Man received an invitation from a mysterious company to participate in the game's beta testing in advance. The game's public beta has officially started, but players are transported to the real end of the world, allowing for the preservation of the game's gameplay and live survival. Spiritually powerful zombies, transformed polluted creatures, extraterrestrial creatures with special abilities, and extraterrestrial forces gather together. The mysterious company behind it has never appeared and seems to be manipulating everything in secret. Players who are desperately trying to survive are screened, and only those who live to the end are qualified to meet them. Keywords of the Novel I am a god in the apocalyptic game without pop-ups, I am a god in the apocalyptic game. Download the complete set of TXT, and read the latest chapter of the god in the apocalyptic game. Chapter 1 Internal Test Invitation You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Internal Test Invitation Dear Survivor Dawn Road sincerely invites you to participate in this game beta test and experience the ultra-realistic holographic simulation survival in advance. The beta test will start three days later. As a special guest, our company will give you an exclusive game cabin for free. The Road of Dawn July 7, 2049, is there such a good thing? Shen Man has some doubts about the authenticity of this email. As a gaming mansion, she is not sure how expensive the gaming cabin is. This company actually delivers for free. Shen Man is also somewhat famous in the holographic virtual gaming industry, having received many internal testing invitations. This is the first time such a generous company has been seen. However, this game is hidden deep enough that even information collectors like Shen Man don't have much intelligence about this game. Dawn Road is not a big company, it has acquired several small studios that have produced high-quality survival games, and after merging, it was renamed Dawn Road. Shen Man once believed that the Dawn Road would be a dark horse, but after that, there was no news of the Dawn Road. Shen Man quickly entered the official website of the game, and the news on the website was still stuck at the time of the company's establishment. Shen Man refreshed several times and finally came up with a new message. Is it about the release of internal testing quotas or limited edition billing and deletion testing? At the beginning, Shen Man wanted to make money, but he was a bit speechless, but his hands kept editing information. The in.game beta lasts for one week, and after the beta, the public beta will immediately begin. Up to now, there is no need for manual testing of bugs. Just use AI intelligence to perform calculations once, which is more time.saving and labor.saving. Internal testing is just a warm.up. The announcement, apart from announcing the time of internal and public testing, has very little introduction to the game itself, only stating that it is an apocalyptic survival game. The following paragraph is all about praising their gaming cabin, high.end chips, large memory, and brand new appearance, bringing you the best experience. Shen Man suspects that they developed a game to sell game cabins. Soon, Shen Man edited and forwarded this announcement to the forum. If the company doesn't promote it, then I will promote it and stir up the popularity of the game. Then, I will take advantage of my identity as a beta player to seize the opportunity and make a profit by pouring Gene Daigon into the server. Shen Man's abacus played loudly. Since middle school, she has dropped out of school to earn money by playing games for others. The practice market is too deep, and she has also worked as a black slave for a few years. But Shen Man is young and lacks a diploma, so he can't find anything else to do. Later on, as I gradually established my own network, I left the platform and started working alone. As soon as the message was sent, as expected, a few acquaintances sent private messages inquiring, but they could only receive the automatic reply set by Shen Man. The price list. Those who are familiar with her know that only by transferring money can she reply to messages in seconds. However, Shen Man didn't have much internal information either. He had said everything he could, and his response was nothing more than being repeatedly confirmed by them. 
Shen Man looked at the time and found that there was still a while before the meal was served. It was enough to give several bosses a number to do their daily work. Nowadays, holographic virtual technology is relatively advanced, and players can enjoy an extremely realistic gaming experience in the game cabin, resulting in high prices for the game cabin. In order to better adapt to various games, Shen Man's game cabin has also bravely made a series of upgrades. In addition to hardware upgrades, maintenance of the gaming cabin is also a significant expense, especially for people like Shen Man who are online almost all day. However, precisely because of this, the game is not lacking in wealthy people, who contribute money and Shen Man's efforts. The Dawn Road actually has an exclusive game cabin. Shen Man speculates that in addition to that, they should also have a complete set of perfect cryptocurrency systems, which really pinches the player's money to the death. It's common for game companies to have bad money, but as long as they don't hinder me from making money, Shen Man thought silently. That afternoon, Shen Man received the game cabin sent by Dawn Road. It is twice as large as a regular game cabin, with a bright white shell and a dark gray architecture. The surface is embedded with transparent liquid tanks, and blue nutrient solution slowly flows. The appearance is indeed more innovative, no, it's strange. Its head is shaped like a bullet, and it looks like a rocket launcher overall. There is something similar to an antenna at the tail, flickering and receiving signals. Connect the power, and the liquid tank emits light, emitting blue light through the liquid. The usage instructions in the manual are no different from those in a regular game cabin, but Shen Man feels that this twice the size of the game cabin has hidden secrets, but he can't see anything unusual, so he has to give up. Maybe he will find out in the future. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 During Internal Testing You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 During Internal Testing These Days with the help of a few beta testers, this game has also gained some popularity. But it's far inferior to games that have celebrity endorsements and are hotly promoted on various platforms. Dawn Road did not do any promotion and relied solely on internal player communication. Perhaps this is just strength, Shen Man is too lazy to manage. He will start an internal test in a few minutes, whether it's a mule or a horse pulling it out for a walk. After changing his clothes, Shen Man entered the game cabin. Hello survivors, welcome to use the PX0358 High.N single player game cabin. We are currently detecting abnormalities. Normal, no adverse contact, and the nervous system has been connected. It is running well for the first time. Should the game be loaded? Yes, loading in progress, please wait. It was already the second day since Shen Man woke up again. He had been playing too much and immediately went to sleep in the game cabin. The game is not bad, it is indeed the most well-crafted game played in recent years, with a strong sense of immersion. Shen Man got up and ate something before quickly coding and posting on the forum, giving a brief introduction to some of the game settings. The game is called the Apocalypse Reconstruction Project, as the name suggests, Rebuilding Homes. The game is set on a planet in a parallel world, with severe internal conflicts on the planet, mainly divided into two factions led by Mans and Ackman. The Ackman camp resorted to any means to achieve victory by manufacturing highly polluting weapons, resulting in a large number of civilians being infected and turned into zombies. After eliminating the Monsi faction, they were unable to save the situation and were eventually engulfed by pollution. The remaining Monsi faction came to Earth and requested the help of the people of Earth to rebuild their homes. Regarding the basic settings of the game, there are no fixed professions in the game, only corresponding identities, such as tree cutting and mining battles, can obtain corresponding proficiency, which is used to improve identity levels. Their identities are divided into gatherers, lumberjacks, miners, healers, chefs, builders, craftsmen, and warriors. Although that may be the case, human energy is ultimately limited, either to be knowledgeable but not proficient, or to specialize in one area. Most people should choose the latter, after all, they are adults who have long understood the consequences of greed. 
most of the actions taken in the game can earn experience and increase level, with only a difference of more or less. Increasing level will earn attribute points, which are used to enhance attributes. There are six attributes in the game. Stamina, Attack, Defense, Agility, Critical Strike, and Spirit. Physical Strength is used to increase the player's health, Attack increases the player's barehanded attack power, and after equipping weapons, it is stacked with it to increase one's own defense power, consistent with the attack. Agility increases player speed. It should be noted that wearing shoes does not necessarily improve agility. Only shoes that are specifically marked with agility will improve agility. Critical strike, which is twice or even more the damage of a regular attack, occurs more times the higher the critical strike level. Spirit is used by players to use skills, and the higher the energy of spirit, the more times it is used. Spirit is exhausted, and there is no other impact except that skills cannot be used. In addition to self-exploration, equipment is the key to enhancing combat power. Equipment levels are divided into S, A, B, C, D, E, and F. Note. Equipment cannot be seized. Equipment also has various attribute and feature bonuses, but equipment can only be obtained from system rewards, crafting, and trading purchases. The level of equipment created is random, of course, the higher the level, the higher the probability that the manufacturer will create good equipment. As for whether a certain level of identity can guarantee the level of equipment, Shin Man has not yet explored. The props in the game belong to Easter eggs. Apart from the exchange, there is no specific way to obtain them and they cannot be snatched, but they can be bought, sold, and given as gifts. The props are divided into permanent props and consumption props. Shen Man concluded that these props would sell at extremely high prices. Although he really wanted to make money from them, he was too embarrassed and had no choice but to give up. There is basically no conflict between players in this game, and it belongs to a game of unity and openness. It seems that this game will be more harmonious. No matter how much Shin Man didn't elaborate, this would ensure that he could seize more opportunities during the public beta. Shin Man spent several days studying this game, understanding the map, delving into its internal mechanisms, and how to quickly improve on the first day. Shen Man saw that this game has great potential, and there is no doubt that it is a dark horse. This week, Shen Man was either in the game or browsing forums to post strategies. He flipped through several posts from beta testers, and the content was almost the same as Shen Man's. His popularity has increased. It seems that there are not many players in the beta, and the ones I saw were all acquaintances. The strategies I posted were also hidden tricks. The official website of Dawn Road suddenly became extremely popular, attracting players from other games to watch. Shen Man's wallet is also eager. End of this chapter. Chapter 3. Open Beta. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3 Open Beta Testing the Public Beta is about to start, and Shen Man looks at the game cabin, but a sense of unease rises in his heart. The discussion in the forum was lively, and players were all waiting for the public beta to start. Shen Man was inexplicably anxious and drank several glasses of water before suppressing it. Shen Man thought to himself that he might have been infected by the eager atmosphere among the players, and then he smiled helplessly. The sky outside the window was slightly bright, and it was the sunrise. The slowly rising sun was shining into the sky. Shen Man lay in the game cabin, and the world became pitch black. Please set your ID, a light blue panel appeared before my eyes. Shen Man didn't even think about it and entered it directly. Gunner the gunman is loading the sensation of the nervous system being connected is transmitted. However, this time there was no sound of AI voices in my mind, my mind became dull, and my consciousness gradually blurred. At this point, it was too late for Shen Man to quit. It's too realistic, punching oneself is really painful. Shen Man had already come to his senses, so clear that he could see his own health bar. After punching him, it showed his health value of 
The same operating system as during the internal testing, the difference is that standing here is Shen Man himself. Shen Man can confirm that this is not a virtual world, but a real apocalypse. There is indeed a problem with that game deck. Dawn Road collaborates with aliens to kidnap and sell earthlings. It's no use getting angry now. Shen Man is not someone who loves and complains about himself. Since he chose to take advantage and use the game cabin, he will also accept the consequences it brings. She immediately opened her optical brain and checked it again. There was an internal storage space and a backpack with 15 compartments of memory. There is a beginner's guide in the backpack, which is not very useful for Shen Man. She has read it a long time ago, and the content inside is not as good as the guide she posted. Besides a pack of compressed biscuits and a bottle of mineral water. There is only one simple production box left for making simple tools with you. After Shen Man checked his backpack and found nothing else, he clicked to check his own status. ID, Gunner, Gender. Female, Race. Earthlings, Level. 1, Health. 50, Energy Value. 100, Skill. None, Crystal Coin. 60, Reputation. 0, A Very Initial Attribute, it seems that the 60 crystal coins were given for the first round of internal testing at 6 yuan. Reputation is a contribution among players, and the purpose of reputation is unknown to Shin Man. Because there weren't many people in the internal test, I couldn't boost my reputation. However, Shin Man guessed that it should be used to exchange for rewards. Skills, Shin Man did not mention them in the guide, and on the first day of the internal testing, she did not find a way to obtain the skills. On the seventh day, he accidentally killed a black wild boar and obtained a stealth skill. It seems that skills should be obtained by killing creatures with skills. However, skills cannot be completely deprived, and acquired skills will inevitably be weakened. Shen Man finished reading and then opened the attribute bar. All six attributes were one, and the identity bar was in a gray unlocked state. You don't need to look at the equipment anymore, it's just a white tee dot shirt and jeans. Just like during internal testing, there was no significant change. Shen Man is an action-oriented person who immediately accepts reality, observes the surrounding environment to determine his position, and determines what to do next. If he was born in a wasteland, he would just abandon the game. Fortunately, although there were no tall trees or jungles around Shen Man, it was not barren, and Shugo still had some conscience. Now the dawn road's favor in Shen Man's heart has plummeted. He thought it was a new gold owner, but he didn't expect it to be a human trafficker. It was quiet all around, except for a strange gurgling sound coming from my feet. Shen Man lowered his head and found a purple mushroom with wavy dots on it. The ground where the mushroom grew seemed to be surging, gurgling and slowly spreading in all directions. It seems that it is better to be born in the wasteland, Shen Man silently roast. Shen Man had seen this type of mushroom during his internal mapping exploration, but he was unable to determine its specific location based on it. Because this mushroom can move and sense the living creatures around it, in other words, it will chase after you. This is a mutated plant, and there is no indication in the game background that the plant has also been infected. According to Shen Man's speculation, this may be a mutation caused by pollution diffusion. The mutated plants currently only exist in the outskirts of the urban area, which means they are very close to the city. Shen Man quickly thought, first he had to choose a direction to run away. At the current initial state, even mushrooms could not be defeated and could only escape. But once you choose the wrong direction and run into the city, you will immediately be torn apart by zombie hands. Sometimes people's luck is like this, even if they choose one or two in exams, they will never find the correct answer, with a quarter chance of just passing. So we can't run around randomly, there are no other reference objects around, and the trees are pitiful. Shen Man looked into the distance, and there were several mountains in the south. Urban areas are generally built on plains, especially on this developed planet, where communities tend to gather together. 
even if there are residents at the foot of the mountain, it is likely to be sporadic and easier to deal with than large urban areas. With his mind racing and reality only taking two seconds, Shen Man made a decision and ran away. The mushrooms behind were still slowly surging, but as soon as they saw their prey running away, they immediately accelerated and followed closely behind. Plants are accustomed to disguising themselves and exposing their true colors when they realize they are being detected. A group of mushrooms gathered together to form a giant mushroom, with a tear in the tube that made people mistake it for their mouth. Shen Man knew that this was not its true mouth, it relied on the black mud under its feet to devour prey and obtain nutrients. There's nothing I can do to keep running like this. My energy level is too low, and after running for a while, my energy level dropped by 40. If there is no way out, then we can only create a way out. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Opening up a new path. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 4 Opening up a new path Shen Man plunged into the bushes next to her and found that they were all crowded and growing in one direction, while the other side was clearly much more open, and the remaining plants had withered. In the same place, half is vibrant and half is decaying, it's really strange. So there are two possibilities. Firstly, they belong to different urban areas with different administrative plans. Green plants are not allowed in the left urban area, while greenery is favored in the right urban area. Secondly, there are even more ferocious plants on the other side, taking away their nutrients, so they have no choice but to shrink into a ball. The answer is obviously the latter. When the time comes, it will cause them to fight each other and take advantage of the opportunity to run away. Of course, the best thing is that they are evenly matched and both sides are injured, and then let Shen Man pick a loophole. The deeper you go, the less vegetation there is, and the stronger Shen Man's sense of crisis, the more he may not be able to pick up any leaks. After successfully seducing him, he immediately runs away. The mushroom behind seems to notice something, and its speed slowed down significantly. Shen Man also took the time to rest and breathe steadily. She didn't want to have more presence than Brother Mushroom. The ground suddenly began to shake, as if something was about to emerge from the ground. Don't wait for it to emerge, Shen Man has already seen a big tree across from him, with its roots underground. The trunk is grayish-green with black leaves, and there are many flickering things hidden within the leaves. At first glance, it looks like a dozen pairs of eyes staring at you, very frightening. But there is a red fruit hanging on the tree, emitting a sparkling luster, tempting to pick. Suddenly, the trunk of the tree tore open fiercely, and a bloody mouth rushed towards me. It looks quite fierce, but in fact it is. However, Shen Man knows its weakness. The tree root pretends to be powerful underground, but it is actually the most fragile. Shen Man wanted to lure the mushroom over, but unfortunately, when he turned his head, the mushroom had already retreated and was about to quietly leave. Shen Man couldn't let it go, turned around and took off, stepped on its head, bent down and pulled hard at its umbrella tip. The mushroom tasted pain and began to swing violently, trying to shake Shen Man down. Shen Man held on tightly and pulled the mushroom in one direction. Mushrooms had to arch back with all their might to fight against Shen Man. During the tug, Mushroom suddenly gained a lot of strength and threw Shen Man away directly. Shen Man immediately hugged his head, curled up his legs, buttocks down, and fell heavily to the ground. Shen Man raised his head with a grin, looked at the mushroom, and then successfully smiled at the mushroom. The black mud of the mushroom had moved to a crack and seeped directly into it, taking a bite of the tree root. The big tree was bitten, and the ground shook even more violently. A branch quickly pulled down, and the mushroom couldn't dodge. It was hit hard and fell deeply into the ground. The big tree's reaction became even more intense, swinging several branches in one breath, and the black mud of the mushroom spread underground, crazily devouring the tree roots. The big tree felt pain but had no choice but to wave its branches randomly to vent. Shen Man hid aside and watched, while regaining his energy. Perhaps it was because he had just experienced a life-and-death chase, 
and his discomfort of being in a different place had been diluted a lot. This made her more calm and able to calm down and analyze the current situation. Shen Man checked his brain and found that he had already wasted a lot of time today. Therefore, he must have gained something from this trip, so he must not let go of this leak detection. Mushroom seemed to have the upper hand, but in reality, the battle situation has not reversed. No matter how many tree trunks mushrooms devour, they cannot immediately upgrade and advance. They can only restore mushrooms to their peak state. When mushrooms can no longer eat, the big tree can immediately turn the tide of the battle. How can the Shu be killed by himself after defeating the mushrooms? This is the question that Shen Man should think about. If you don't do anything, you won't be able to reap the benefits in the end. With such a weak self, even if a big tree is seriously injured, you can still use a branch to pull yourself to death. Then we can only engage in a surprise attack. Shen Man took out a simple production box, picked up some materials around, and made a simple axe. Although it's very garbage, it's enough. On this side, the mushroom is clearly struggling. It has already eaten enough, while the big tree has not been eaten down yet. After the mushrooms had eaten their fill, they wanted to retreat. The black mud surged out of the crack, and the big tree grabbed the mushrooms, lifted them in mid-air, and then slammed them hard to the ground. The mushrooms lost the protection of the black mud and could no longer quickly replenish nutrients. Then the branches quickly beat against the mushroom, and the mushroom was on the brink of death. The remaining roots of the big tree are spreading underground and trying to absorb nutrients from other plants. However, all the tree roots that stretched out came back empty, and the nutrients of the mushrooms were stored in the black mud, which it dared not reach out to absorb. Shen Man over there is silently chopping down trees, and wherever he passes, there are no trees growing. As an internal tester, Shen Man has tested the experience points generated by most behaviors, and combat is not the optimal solution. Not to mention that I didn't dare to fight at the beginning, only high dot level monsters would drop more experience points in battles. It's really unnecessary to fight low dot level monsters hard in the early stages. Mining is also a good choice, but unless one is born in a vein, there is no need to spend so much time searching for a vein to mine. Although it is necessary to prune trees before becoming rich, the number of trees here is pitiful. After the plants are polluted, the most mutated ones are the trees. But after mutation, it cannot grow normally and needs to absorb nutrients from other organisms to survive. There is also a distinction between strong and weak trees, as strong as the big tree just now, and weak ones are cut down by Shen Man. Shen Man speculates that this big tree usually survives by absorbing nutrients from these trees, as these trees have not yet mutated and can grow normally to obtain nutrients and store them. Unconsciously, Shen Man had already cut down more than ten trees. These trees were nourished by the big trees all year round and were not as strong as before, so it was not difficult to cut them down. The chopped tree is not a waste, just put it in your backpack, it's still empty anyway. A backpack can only stack five pieces of wood per compartment, but that's a lot. The cut wood directly fills three compartments. Click on the status bar, the level has been raised to level three, and you have obtained three attribute points. Shen Man directly increases the critical hit for all of them. She has always been a critical flow gameplay, and this time it's the same. For attacks, just stack them with equipment. Speed doesn't matter. Although the only martial arts in the world are fast and unbreakable, the one that is extremely fast is definitely scraping. I can carry it ten times, but you can't carry it even once. Shen Man's survival rule tells her that improving herself here is the top priority. If she constantly tells herself that she has the opportunity to escape, how can she persist in fighting and taking risks? This way, she cannot achieve improvement, and even if she survives, she will be eliminated by the environment. After chopping down the tree, Shen Man rested in place for a while, regained 80% of his energy, and then stood up and walked back. Not far away, Shen Man felt a slight vibration on the ground. Here we go. 
A tree root emerged from the ground, pretending to wrap around her ankle. Shen Man quickly took a step back and raised his axe to strike with all his might. The root of the tree was cut off, and Shen Man kept moving, chopping several times in a row, chopping vegetables and cutting off several pieces. Tree roots cannot recover without absorbing nutrients, so they have to gather other tree roots here to besiege their prey. Shen Man probed a few times and roughly calculated the maximum length it could grow. Then it's about seducing and chopping, and the roots of the tree become stronger at the back, requiring many cuts to cut them off. Although it takes time to fight like this, attacking this tree is both logging and combat. With double the experience, Shen Man enjoys it. During this period, when Shen Man was tired from chopping, he stopped to eat compressed biscuits and took a break. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Fisherman's Benefits You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Fisherman's Benefits Until the afternoon, the big tree was finally scraped to death by Shen Man's scraping. She took advantage of her rest and clicked on the status bar to check. ID, Gunner, Gender Female, Race Earthlings, Level 7 Health. 85, Energy Value. 121, Skill. None, Crystal Coin. 60, Reputation. 0, For every level up, health points increase by 5 and energy points increase by 3. She has obtained 4 attribute points again and still adds critical hits to all of them. She dares to guarantee that she is definitely the person who upgraded the fastest on the first day. The slower the progress, the slower the speed of level improvement, but rapid upgrades in the early stages are enough to widen the gap. Shen Man came to the bottom of the big tree, which was powerless to struggle. She cut off a branch from the tree and made a new axe using a simple makeshift box. Then he began to cut down this big tree, but his energy was too limited. Shen Man could only take a break and spend two hours chopping down this big tree. The big tree was cut down, and the fruit hanging on its body immediately seemed to have lost its life, automatically falling off and falling to the ground. Shen Man stepped forward and put the fruits and trees into his backpack. The items included in the backpack will unlock the guidebook, increase exploration value, and obtain information about the corresponding items. Name Fruit of Ghost Mother Tree, Introduction it is a bait used by the ghost mother tree for hunting, which has a fatal attraction to animals. The attracted animals will enter a state of confusion, during which they will be unable to resist the attack of the ghost mother tree. After leaving the ghost mother tree, they will lose their original effectiveness, but you can still use it to attract prey. If used well, this will become an artifact. Shen Man then clicked on the information from the ghost mother tree. Name Ghost Mother Tree, Introduction The Big Banyan Tree, contaminated by the Tam people, cannot obtain nutrients normally after being contaminated and relies on absorbing nutrients from other organisms to survive. It can be used to make pure wood tools, Tam people. Shen Man remembers that there was a note in the Beginner's Guide that among hostile targets, the Tam people were ranked in front of the zombies, indicating that the Tam people were a more dangerous presence. Regarding the production of tools, the more advanced the production box, the higher the level of tools produced, and the properties of the tools will also vary depending on the materials used. Using the ghost mother tree as a material, the tool produced is made of pure wood. According to the mutual generation and restraint between gold, wood, water, fire, and soil, the pot made from the ghost mother tree will have a better boiling effect. Anyway, Shen Man understands it that way. What would happen if pure fire materials were used as hose and pure wood materials as handles? The answer is that they will catch fire. The intersection of mutually generating attributes will receive a bonus, while the intersection of opposing attributes will result in destruction. After removing the mutated plants, the crystals will be obtained. Shen Man did not find any other uses for the crystals, they were just a beautiful stone, and the backpack test only showed that they could be recycled into crystal coins. The crystal of this big tree is also quite large. 
it can be recycled directly with a crystal coin of 5,000. It's really valuable. I don't know when I'll have such good luck next time. Shen Man stood in place and scanned again, confirming that there were no missing valuable items, before lifting his steps to the mushroom. In fact, she has considered taking away the tree roots. The tree roots should be good for furniture, although she doesn't make them, she can sell them. Unfortunately, the roots of the trees were cut in a mess by her, and even if she didn't work in this field, she knew that the more complete the materials were, the better. Mushrooms that leave the black mud also cannot heal on their own, being beaten to pieces by a big tree, leaving only one crystal intact. Recycling, Crystal Coins Plus 1000 Mushrooms are far less valuable than big trees. What standard is used to estimate the recycling price and their lethality? Influence Pollution level Is it difficult to do it by age? Shen Man was also unsure. During the internal testing, she encountered many mutated plants, most of which were not as valuable as this big tree, and among them were some highly lethal mutated plants. Finally, there was only the black mud left, and the black mud, which had lost control, lay quietly in place. What should I do with this thing, kill it? Even the big trees can't take it, and they don't have strong equipment themselves. Besides, killing a lump of black mud is really strange, but staying here always feels like a loss. Shen Man pondered for a moment and decided to try putting it in his backpack. Name The Reliance of Purple Striped Mushrooms, Introduction The Purple Striped Mushroom controls it, providing nutrients for the Purple Striped Mushroom. They are interdependent with each other. After leaving the Purple Striped Mushroom, it appears helpless and has limited capacity. However, it can devour everything you give and convert it into nutrients. Leaving the purple striped mushroom will reduce its capacity by half. Shen Man had tried to put living creatures into her backpack before, but in the end, it all ended in failure, which made her give up making such useless attempts again. Today was purely due to greed, and I really wanted to take this good thing away, but I accidentally succeeded. So it can be inferred that it is not that living creatures cannot be put into backpacks, but rather that conscious, autonomous, and conscious living creatures cannot be put into backpacks. That is to say, as long as the owner changes ownership, independent coercion and temptation, and conscious elimination consciousness, then they can be included in the backpack. It's a good path to crime, but this method is not suitable for people on earth because their props, equipment, and skills cannot be deprived. It's okay, being in a different place, Shen Man doesn't want to kill each other. However, these items that change ownership, like skills, will be weakened. Shen Man doesn't care, the quality is not enough to make up for the quantity. Then Shen Man searched around and didn't find any useful materials. As the evening approached, the afterglow dyed the surface red and blended with the sky. The most important thing now is to determine one's own position. Shen Man doesn't plan to spend the night in the wilderness, safety is inevitably not guaranteed. He can't see his fingers when he reaches out at night, and he really encounters danger. He can't even run if he wants to. As long as he finds the right direction, Shen Man can successfully locate the exchange closest to him. When exploring the map, the location of the exchange must be kept in mind. If it is the same as during internal testing, then there must be an exchange near the birthplace of earthlings. Based on this, in the outskirts of the urban area, there are clusters of mountains to the south and a forest to the west. If these three conditions are met simultaneously, two exchanges will be selected based on this. One is located near the urban area, while the other is at the foot of the mountain. You cannot go to the urban area, even if there is an exchange, it is not safe. It is also speculated that the location of the urban area is to the north. Before developing, she will try to avoid going north as much as possible. As for why Shin Man avoids zombies like snakes and scorpions, because during the beta test, she had already witnessed the power of zombies. Compared to ordinary zombies in her previous understanding, zombies on this planet are even more powerful. 
This also makes Shen Man doubt what kind of weapon is capable of contaminating zombies like this. Even the Ackman faction, which can produce such amazing weapons, cannot eliminate zombies. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Exchange You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Exchange During the journey, Shen Man ran and rested for a while, not wasting any opportunity to gain experience. Although running consumes a lot, slowing down while walking can restore energy, although the effect is far less than stopping to rest. But this is also faster than walking all the way, and most importantly, running can also gain experience. Although not much, it is still sufficient for early upgrades. Along the way, Shen Man did not encounter any mutated plants again, as pollution slowly spread outward from the urban area. Therefore, the farther away from the urban area, the safer it would be, making it a suitable location for early development. Although Shen Man is not afraid of enemies, he is by no means a reckless person. Even though he knows that the resources of this planet are being fully developed, only the urban area will have more resources. However, for Shen Man today, going alone is too risky. Going to the deep mountains was the best decision made by Shen Man based on the current situation. The deep mountains here are only called because of their remote geographical location, and there are not many natural resources inside, but Shen Man did not come for this. In places far from the urban area, the vegetation is noticeably more lush and healthy. Generally, those with eerie appearances are judged by Shen Man as mutated plants. And the plants here all look normal on the outside, and the occasional birds flying over are also non-aggressive. Animals that have consumed mutated plants will become aggressive, but they will not mutate directly. During the internal testing, Shen Man was chased by a group of ducks. They looked no different from ordinary animals on the surface, but as soon as they approached, they were attacked by a group. At that time, they were pecking at the wild grass on the shore, and the strange smell spread from the grass, as if it had been corroded by some chemical reagents. As for why it is believed that animals that consume mutated plants have not mutated. According to Shen Man's observation. Firstly, variation can cause distortion in appearance, even without various distorted shapes, there may be some strange and inferior pigments attached to the surface. Secondly, mutation can lead to a significant increase in the attacking power of organisms, making them more destructive. But those ducks only had a stronger willingness to attack, and the damage they caused did not increase. But whether this is a precursor to mutation is unknown to Shen Man, but for safety reasons, she usually strangles them in the cradle to avoid the emergence of mutated animals in the future. Shen Man doesn't want to explore the combat power of mutated animals. Night was about to fall, but fortunately, a light appeared ahead in time. That is the light emitted by the exchange. The exchange is surrounded by marble columns, on which there are patterns painted with red, yellow, and green pigments. From a distance, it looks like ferocious faces. These patterns are drawn with special pigments to intimidate surrounding monsters. Shen Man speculates that these pigments should be made from some advanced mutated plants, and the monsters around them can sense the powerful aura they emit, so they dare not go rashly. Inside the stone pillar is a five-dot-meter high arch, which is the main entrance. In addition to the main entrance, there are five small doors, which are about three meters high. Shen Man stepped up the stairs, and the slides on both sides of the stairs were carved with reliefs in various shapes, resembling some kind of totem. The reliefs emitted dim light, creating the illusion that it was a ritual. The staircase is not only located at the main entrance, but is surrounded by a circle to welcome people from all directions who come to trade. This is a technologically advanced planet, and most of the buildings here have a strong sense of technology. However, due to the zombie outbreak, almost all cities have been paralyzed. In this comparison, the construction technology of the exchange seems very out of place, but this exchange, which is independent of the urban area, gets along very well with the jungle of trees. The exchange looks grand and imposing overall, but there is no luxurious interior inside, only a trading platform about one meter high is placed. 
There are no other people inside, it seems that I am the first person to arrive at this exchange. Shen Man walked forward and pressed his palm onto the platform panel. The panel emitted blue light, and the white lines extended outward from the palm, spreading out neatly. Wherever the white lines pass through, they form one panel after another, gradually revealing the text. Shen Man stood in the middle, surrounded by countless panels. Seeing this, she put down her hand and took a step back. The surrounding panels quickly dispersed and suspended in mid-air, not arranged neatly but not disorderly. Although there are words on the panel, it seems to be covered with a thin layer of mist, making it difficult for Shen Man to see the content on the panel clearly. This is the shielding function of the panel, which is set to protect the user's privacy. Shen Man raised his hand and clicked on the nearest panel, and the mist instantly dissipated, making the panel clearer. You have successfully activated trading system number 5. Do you want to proceed with trading? Yes, after Shen Man pressed the confirm button, he saw the main interface of the trading system. The main interface is very simple, with trading on the left, shopping mall on the right, user ID in the upper left corner, message notification in the upper right corner, and exit in the lower right corner. There is also a blank space directly above the main interface, which is used for renting out to players for advertising. The exchange uses fingerprint login, which allows users to log into their trading account with just a touch of their hand. The first login to the exchange task has been completed, and the reward has been sent to the backpack the sound of AI suddenly came from the optical brain, and Shen Man's conjecture was confirmed. She chose to come to the exchange not only to stay overnight, but mainly to trade, and secondly, to confirm whether the optical brain will still distribute tasks and receive rewards for this task. Now she has confirmed that the optical brain is still operating normally and will also distribute tasks, which means that items that cannot be made or purchased can still be obtained through task rewards. Then Shen Man opened his backpack and checked the rewards. Name Transport Reel, Introduction After use, it will be transferred to the nearest exchange and destroyed after successful transfer. Many people will think that this is just a very ordinary reward and will be used up early. It doesn't seem particularly special, but after seven days of internal testing, she couldn't find any way to obtain the second teleportation scroll. The system rewards almost no repetition except for crystal coins. She wasn't willing to use this rare thing until the internal test was over. Returning to the main interface of the panel, trading is used for buying and selling between players, while the mall is used to purchase goods produced by the exchange itself. Of course, you can also sell things to the exchange, but the items that can be sold are determined by the exchange. The mall provides daily orders, and only what is needed on the order can be sold. The order will continue to exist until someone completes it. The items requested on the order are random, possibly some advanced equipment or some very ordinary materials. There are not many things that can be purchased in the mall, but they are all things that earthlings cannot produce, such as the production box given at the beginning, which is something that earthlings cannot produce. After all, this is just a small box, but tools can be made by dropping materials. However, Shen Man has been teleported here, and even her body may have been modified, so no matter how outrageous something appears here, she won't be surprised. Don't look at the mall for now. Shen Man came here for the purpose of trading. But it's not about buying things that others have put on the shelves, and besides, she doesn't think anyone can sell anything good on the first day. She is buying things that are listed on the system, and others may not know, but Shen Man has participated in a seven-day internal test and she is very clear about it. Perhaps in order to ensure the early survival of Earthlings, several sets of advanced equipment will be listed in the transaction at midnight, and the equipment mentioned here does not include weapons. Shen Man speculates that the reason may be that she hopes everyone won't go surfing and can develop peacefully, because she is the one who will go surfing as soon as she gets good weapons. These equipment will not be lower than level C at the lowest and not exceed level A. A few sets will be refreshed every day, but there will be people competing in the early stages. Gradually, everyone's strength will improve and they can make better equipment. 
With more choices, there will be basically no one competing for the equipment listed in the system. Of course, it's only the first day now, and the equipment of the system is definitely in high demand, so Shin Man must grab it. Even the lowest C. level is better than running naked. In the internal test, there must be a Krypton Gold boss present, and the opponent will inevitably bring more crystal coins at the beginning, which will definitely have the ability to compete with her for equipment. But she doesn't regret only charging 6 yuan, because according to her temperament, even if she starts over, she will still only charge 6 yuan. At this point, Shen Man can only pray that the equipment she brushes won't be too advanced. She can't afford what others can afford. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Waiting for the Early Morning You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Waiting for the Early Morning From her budget, 6,000 crystal coins are enough to buy a set of C.level equipment, sorted by price. Top pants had accessories shoes gloves. Of course, this is a prerequisite for excluding equipment with good attributes, as seen from a general perspective. The price given by the system is bound to be different from that of real people. Without so many twists and turns from real people, pricing is based on their own set of estimation standards. However, its estimation criteria are not the most accurate, and it all depends on human factors. The value of the same equipment reflected in different hands also varies. But this does not mean that the equipment of the system is cheaper than that of real people. For example, the system believes that equipment with more attributes has a higher price, even if Shin Man thinks only one of these attributes is useful, its price will not be low. Unfortunately, Shin Man had no choice. The first day was definitely the time of least competition. If he didn't win a few pieces of equipment at this time, it would only be harder to grab them in the future. Although Shin Man is very confident in herself, she does not underestimate others. She does not believe that others will not have the ability to obtain a large amount of crystal coins in the early stage. Besides, this group of people are still internal demons from Earth. Even if others may experience discomfort when they first arrive in a different place, truly strong individuals can quickly adjust their state and adapt to the environment. Although Shen Man has enough crystal coins to purchase a few pieces of equipment, she can only snatch them one by one, so she needs to make a choice before dawn. According to Shen Man's ranking of purchase priorities, tops rank first because generally speaking, tops have more attributes and belong to armor, so they must have armor value. At the worst, they can also be used for stacking defense. If you can grab the top, it will definitely be a big help for early development, at least it won't be so easy to die. The second is the hat. Although the armor value added to the hat may not be as good as that of the shirt and pants, it can prevent head bursts. The back of the head has always been a weakness of humans, and this is no exception. The third is accessories. The accessories here are not too large, lightweight and easy to carry. The most important thing is that accessories must have an attribute. For the early stage, no matter what attribute you get, it is basically guaranteed to make a profit without losing. The fourth one is pants, which belong to the regular type and are mostly used for folding defense. Next is gloves, whose function is to protect oneself from backlash when using powerful weapons. Currently, there is no need to acquire powerful weapons. The shoes are placed at the end, and the shoes here may not necessarily be agile. Agile shoes usually rely on real person production to be brushed. For Shen Man, without agile shoes, it's just an ordinary equipment. Moreover, based on Shen Man's past experience, shoes generally do not exhibit any attributes, and they are immediately mystical. She has once encountered shoes that can resist 40% of the damage caused by head popping. Toes. This leads to a huge price difference between shoes, and no matter how high the grade of ordinary shoes is, they cannot be sold at a high price. Shoes with agility, even at the lowest level, can skyrocket in value with only one agility added. As for why not buy two tops and wear two tops at the same time? The answer is simple. Except for accessories, equipment attributes of the same type cannot be stacked and can only be replaced. 
That is to say, even if you wear two tops, you will only save the attributes of the last top you put on. Jewelry can be stacked just because there are many types of jewelry. Similarly, necklaces can only be worn once, rings can only be worn once per hand, and so on for other jewelry. Otherwise, the streets are filled with people who can't see their necks, fingers, or arms. According to the urine habits of earthlings, they will inevitably fill up all the places they can equip. Shen Man fantasized about this scene for a moment, it was truly eye-dot-catching. Besides, these accessories don't have much weight, and this kind of thing will definitely happen. The skill of earthlings is infinite involution, and everyone wears so many. How dare you go out with only one necklace? After some consideration, Shen Man decided to grab the top first. However, what Shen Man can think of, and others can also think of, is that the competition for tops will be the most intense among all equipment. But in the pursuit of wealth and prosperity, Shen Man has never been afraid of challenges. Moreover, there are no connecting tools here, and they are all purely focused on manual speed. In terms of manual speed, Shen Man is quite confident. After making up his mind, Shen Man clicked on the food section. Although Shen Man was the first founder of this exchange, it does not mean that other exchanges have no one. On the first day, everyone has limited resources and nothing to sell, but food may not necessarily be scarce. Because depending on their place of birth, some people may be born in places with a lot of food, so they will sell it. Even players who have not participated in the beta know how important it is to make money. As expected. There are some fruits and vegetables on sale in the food bar, and there's nothing to be picky about at this time. Shen Man spent a hundred crystal coins directly to buy a banana. It is normal for the items sold on the first day to be expensive, without much competition. They are asking exorbitant prices. If it weren't for all the price caps in the transaction, this banana could have sold for a thousand. After all, it's the end of the world, and these green foods are also very rare. However, Shen Man knows where there is more food, but it's not something she can think of now. During the internal testing, Shen Man exerted great effort. After all, the most she could lose was equipment durability. Now, she doesn't want to test how much equipment durability would be lost if she died during the waiting period, Shen Man was not idle either. She took out a simple making box and turned the wood in her backpack into tools to brush her experience and proficiency. Making tools also requires energy, even though Shen Man worked for several hours, due to energy limitations, he did not make hundreds of such exaggerated ones. Although I didn't have hundreds of tools, I also made 30 simple axes and 20 simple pickaxes. The tools can only stack up to 10 in the backpack. She didn't want to waste the backpack's memory, so she only kept 10 axes and sold the remaining ones. Someone is already selling tools in the transaction, and most simple axes and pickaxes are priced at 20 coins per piece. Due to the scarcity of natural resources, selling at this price is also normal. As for whether anyone has bought it, the answer is yes. After all, everyone is born in different places and has different resources. Moreover, due to the overexploitation of natural resources, there are not many trees. Why buy an axe when there are no trees? Firstly, most people are unable to obtain weapons in the early stages, so these tools can temporarily serve as weapons for self.defense. Secondly, the axe may not necessarily be used for chopping trees, but can also be used as a cutting tool, such as skinning animals and cleaning internal organs. In order not to disrupt market balance, Shen Man also listed at a price of 20 crystal coins. After cleaning the tools, she immediately clicked on her own status to check. ID, Gunner, Gender. Female, Race. Earthlings, Level. 8. Health. 90. Energy value. 124. Skill. None. Crystal coin. 5960. Reputation. 0. The level has been raised again. Then Shen Man opened the attribute bar again, and except for a critical hit of 9, everything else was still 1. 
the identity bar is no longer entirely gray, and lumberjacks, craftsmen, and warriors have been illuminated. Loggers. 3. Manufacturing worker. 2. Warrior. 3. The higher the identity level, the less energy is consumed when performing corresponding actions. Except for the three major collection identities of collector, lumberjack, and miner, all other identities can receive corresponding bonuses and increase with level collecting identities actually has bonuses, for example, when collecting advanced plants, people with lower levels cannot collect them completely, while those with higher levels can not only collect them completely but also obtain the crystals of that plant. After all, not everyone is as skilled in combat as Shin Man, and can obtain a large amount of crystal coins from combat. Collecting identities has given many ordinary people the opportunity to obtain crystal coins. Ironically, the theory that as long as one works hard enough, they can live better has actually been implemented in such a terrible environment. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Finding Water Sources You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Finding Water Sources There is still about a minute until early morning. Shen Man has opened the transaction, opened the equipment column, took turns clicking on the top and pants columns to refresh with his left hand, and simulated the purchase process with his right hand. Click on item. Purchase item. Confirm. Using both hands simultaneously and frantically clicking, the brain and eyes can no longer keep up with the speed of the hand, and can only see the phantom of the fingers moving rapidly. Shen Man arranged the equipment in order of price from high to low, so the first grid must be the most expensive. However, Shen Man does not intend to compete for this. Because she cannot be sure how much the equipment in the first tier will cost, and if it exceeds her budget, she may easily collapse if she cannot afford it. So the position she clicked on is the second grid, although it may be a bit lower, but this is the safest approach. And because it is listed on the system, there is no need to worry about buying equipment at a premium, as it basically meets its value. 5.4.3.2.1 With his left hand refreshing a row of equipment, Shen Man immediately saw the price of the first top, starting with four characters. After practicing for a minute, my right hand slid over and confirmed the purchase. The purchase was successful. Without enough time to secretly rejoice, Shen Man quickly opened the hat rack. He didn't see anything else clearly, only saw that there was just one left, and his right hand inertia didn't pass. The purchase was successful. I bought two pieces of equipment in just one second. Although it was urgent, Shen Man was not a beginner and would not be flustered, let alone make some basic mistakes. After buying two items, there was not enough money to buy anything else, and Shen Man was finally able to stop and inspect the two items of equipment he had bought. Name Blue Crystal Scale Armor, Level A. Armor Value 40. Attribute None, Characteristic Luminescence, Introduction An unknown person secretly attacked a sleeping blue crystal beast, peeling off its back scales to make it incredibly hard and shiny. It is essential for lighting and can become the most dazzling presence in the crowd even in the dark. Name Angry Pumpkin Head, Level C. Armor Value 1. Attribute Critical Hit Resistance of 10%, Spirit Plus 2, Feature Angry Eyes, Introduction This is a furious pumpkin head, with a blazing fire in its eyes that not only hates everything around it, but also provides illumination. Although it may seem hard to believe, it is indeed a healthy pumpkin, and a healthy body can enhance your resistance. From now on, she will break away from her earthly identity and join the Radiant People. After Shin Mankai finished talking about the many attributes of the shirt, he was immediately slapped and snatched a shirt without attributes. However, it's normal. If a top with such high armor value is paired with a few attributes, it won't be affordable for her. Although the hat adds critical resistance, it is obvious that not wearing it is more effective in avoiding attacks. So she won't wear it on her head and walk around until necessary. Although the top is called A, 
it is actually a blue leather racing suit, and Shen Man looks very slim after wearing it. The equipment will automatically adjust its size according to the user's body type, so there is no need to worry about size mismatch. The night is already deep. Shen Man found a corner to lie down and rest. She took off her racing suit and put it in her backpack to avoid being too bright to sleep. Summer nights were the most noisy time for insect chirping, but she lay on her side on the ground without hearing any other sound, so quiet that she could hear her breathing clearly. But she was just too tired. The exhaustion of running around all day, combined with a highly tense mood, instantly overwhelmed her at the moment she lay down. I had no dreams all night. Shen Man slept until 12 o'clock because the resting environment was not very good, and he could only use the duration to fill the gap in quality. After waking up, there was no expected back pain and soreness in the back, but an extra refreshing feeling. That's good, at least it won't affect today's event. During this period, no one else entered this exchange, which is normal, after all, this place is too remote and they are not as familiar with maps as Shen Man. However, as long as the exchange exists, it will inevitably attract a large number of people, it's just a matter of time. Shen Man opened his backpack and ate up the remaining bananas from yesterday to fill his stomach. Also, please take a look at your backpacks. The four items that came with the opening game now only have a simple making box and a beginner's guide left, and cookies and water have long been gone. Yesterday when making tools, one grid of wood was consumed, leaving two grids. The rest are the ghost mother tree, its fruit, black mud, axe, teleportation scroll, blue crystal scales, and pumpkin head. Wearing blue crystal scales, there are still five available compartments in the backpack. Fortunately, the exchange provides a private warehouse that can store some items. She stored two pieces of wood and a beginner's guide in the warehouse, leaving the rest untouched. It is Shen Man's habit to clean his backpack before going out, to avoid encountering good things outside but being unable to take them away due to insufficient backpacks. After organizing his backpack, Shen Man felt that his throat was already smoking. Because she hasn't been drinking water since entering the exchange yesterday and waking up now. This exchange is at the foot of the mountain, and Shen Man remembers that there is clean mountain spring water nearby for drinking. Following the route in her memory, she found a small stream. The water in the stream is very shallow, with good quality and clear to the bottom. You can also see some small shrimp. However, Shen Man didn't drink the water here. She walked along the stream and finally found the spring. The gurgling mountain spring water gushed out from the crevice, and just looking at it like this, Shen Man already felt that his throat was not as dry. She walked forward and took a sip with her hand, slightly relieving her thirst before continuing to drink. Although these springs look clean and can support the organisms in the water, she does not believe that the water can be consumed directly. Even mountain spring water is raw water, which can easily cause diarrhea. Once diarrhea occurs, her plans will be disrupted and she will be forced to rest. So she only took one sip, even if there was a problem with the water and the dosage was small, there shouldn't be anything wrong with it. Then she took out the ghost mother tree and a simple makeshift box from her backpack. Five simple wooden buckets were made from a portion of the ghost mother tree, one of which can hold approximately 4,000 milliliters of water. Shen Man placed them at the spring to collect water, and then walked to a place with relatively dry soil. Then wet a small area with water to make the soil soft and easy to excavate, and dig a rectangular pit along the wet area. Then she took out the pumpkin head, and if she saw it correctly, it had a characteristic of catching fire. Pumpkin head looked very angry, but he didn't get angry. Shen Man thought for a moment and then looked at pumpkin head in front of him. Pumpkin head's eyes rubbed with anger. Although it may be anger, it is actually just a small flame. Shen Man picked up some combustibles nearby, piled them up in the pit, and then used a few weeds to reach into the pumpkin head to start a fire. Over there, the last wooden bucket was already overflowing with water. She lifted the bucket and placed it on the pit. The wooden bucket was placed in the middle of the rectangle, 
with both sides used for adding fire and ventilation. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. Grain Reserve. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Grain Reserve Because the pit is rectangular in shape and to ensure its width is just enough to fit the wooden barrel, the pit is not wide. This also leads to the inability to add more fuel, and when the fire is not strong, it can only burn slowly. However, Shen Man had already considered this point, so the material used was ghost mother tree, which is a pure wood material. The reaction with fire will be greater, and because the wooden bucket is filled with water, water and wood complement each other, which can actually constrain each other. Constraints only prevent them from being destroyed, and the energy they generate is still significant. So the speed of boiling water in wooden barrels made from ghost mother trees will be very fast. Sure enough, the water boiled in no time. Although Shen Man was very thirsty, she couldn't drink hot water directly. She could only put the bucket aside for now. Then place the other wooden barrels in the soil pit. After all the water was boiled, the first bucket of water had cooled down almost enough, and Shen Man couldn't wait to take a few big sips. The feeling of being alive is really good, Shen Man couldn't help but sigh. Put the bucket into his backpack, Shen Man got up and walked to the stream for a simple cleaning. Pack yourself up and prepare to leave. Of course it's not going back to the exchange. It's still early, and she's ready to walk deep into the mountains and forests. She walked to a relatively open place, took off her blue crystal scales, and then took out the fruits of the ghost mother tree, placing them together on the ground. This place is located in the forest, and there is a water source nearby, which is very suitable for birds to inhabit. In summer, birds seem to disappear, but Shen Man knows that they are just hiding because they need to change feathers, so this is their most vulnerable moment. During this period, some of their feathers will be shorter than their normal size, and gaps will be created in their wings, which greatly reduces their flying ability. Although Shen Man is a nine-leakage fish that hasn't even finished middle school, it is precisely because of this that she is very familiar with some common life knowledge. Her purpose in placing blue crystal scales is to attract the attention of birds, as some birds are very interested in shining things. Even if you are not interested in the brightness of blue crystal scales, you will still be swayed by this flash to attract their attention. The fruit of the ghost mother tree is meant to lure them closer. Then Shen Man walked not far away and hid, staring closely at the other side without missing any movement. As expected, in no time, birds flew out of the trees and rushed towards the fruits. A gray bird took the lead and landed first, just as its beak was about to approach the fruit. An axe fell from the sky and struck directly at it. The other birds were frightened and ran around when they saw this. The last bird to leave was unfortunately hit by an axe. Shen Man walked out from behind the tree, put the two birds in his backpack, cleaned up the scene briefly, and then hit again. She believes in the attraction of fruits to them and is not afraid that they dare not come. After this operation, half of the energy was consumed, but fortunately Shen Man had already harvested ten birds, which happened to fill one grid. These are enough for her to eat for several days. Don't worry about food spoilage, the food in the backpack will automatically keep fresh, as long as it's not taken out, it won't spoil. It is also because of this that people sell food, which does not rot and greatly reduces food consumption. Moreover, there are no more people here than on earth, and there is basically no famine. Shen Man returned to the stream and took out the bird, using an axe as a cutting tool. Remove the head, pluck the hair, and clean the internal organs. Follow this process to dispose of all ten birds. It may not seem like there are many steps, but in reality, it is very troublesome to handle because it was not soaked in hot water, so it took a lot of effort to pluck the hair. The dusk on the horizon is heavy, and the afterglow falls on the ground. The low trees also become tall at this moment. The tree shadow extended to Shen Man's feet, swaying and swaying. Shen Man quickened his pace, folded several branches around him, strung the treated birds together, and then inserted them near the pit. 
use pumpkin heads to ignite the remaining ashes, and use the remaining branches as fuel to add to the pit. Without the blessing of the ghost mother tree, the fire was not as fierce as before, and Shen Man could only fan the wind to help ignite it. She carefully pays attention to the bird meat, flipping it occasionally to evenly heat it and prevent it from burning. Slowly, the aroma of grilled meat wafted out. Although there were no seasonings, Shen Man was not picky about food and could fill his stomach. After a busy afternoon, Shen Man finally had a hot bite to eat. Ignoring the scorching heat, he tore off the bird meat and stuffed it into his mouth, swallowing it whole. It's not unpleasant, but rather has an indescribable authentic flavor. At this time on earth, the moon has already risen, but not here. The sky is gray. The rolling black clouds seem to have an undercurrent surging. The surroundings were pitch black, but one could hear the sound of the wind blowing through the leaves and the crackling sound of the burning branches in the campfire. Accompanied by sparks erupting from the top of the flames, the sky suddenly darkened and disappeared into the darkness. Shen Man's consciousness was strong, and this peaceful atmosphere did not make her relax her guard. She immediately put the roasted bird meat into her backpack, afraid that the aroma would be too strong and attract other foraging beasts. But obviously, what should come will always come. Shen Man suddenly felt a shiver in his back and a sense of crisis hit him. His body took a step forward and quickly picked up the bird meat that had been inserted on the ground, smashing it heavily in one direction. And he flipped lightly in the other direction. After successfully rolling, she lay flat on the ground, holding her breath and not moving, concentrating all her attention on her eyes and ears. Fortunately, her energy has fully recovered during the barbecue period. When going out, she will not waste her energy on improving her proficiency, as she needs to retain enough energy to deal with sudden dangers. The sound of nose twitching is particularly clear in the quiet night. I saw two glowing green dots in the pitch black, quickly moving towards the direction of bird meat after Shen Man's operation. Shen Man has guessed that this is a wild boar, which likes to forage at night. Wild boars have a highly developed sense of smell, relying solely on their sense of smell to locate food. At the same time, their hearing is also very sensitive, and wild boar heads can rotate flexibly to quickly determine the direction of the sound source. This is also why Shen Man deliberately made noise. But at that time, she didn't know it was a wild boar, but she could also make a rough guess. Large nocturnal beasts may not have good eyesight, but since they choose to move at night, it is inevitably because they have more sensitive other senses. Based on the sound of the wild boar running, it is judged that this wild boar will not weigh less than 800 pounds, and Shen Man can only use a few axes as weapons. Not to mention their rigid needle hairs, axes may not necessarily cause any damage to them. But the escape plan is even more impractical. Its sense of smell and hearing are too sensitive, and it can only rely on vision to run away. Besides, it's still so dark, and I'm running around feeling dizzy and disoriented. The wild boar can accurately determine her position by listening to the sound, and then rush forward to arch her to death. Taking advantage of the time when the wild boar was eating grilled meat, Shen Man thought of several solutions. After making up her mind, she stood up directly. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Return to Exchange You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Return to Exchange Shen Man took out the pumpkin head from his backpack and put it on, then took out a roasted bird and ran quickly in one direction. The lighting on her body is enough to see the road clearly, let alone staying here during the day, already familiar with the terrain here, even if she runs with her eyes closed, she won't fall. The wild boar smelled the fragrance and turned around and ran over. Shen Man ran to a place and stopped, picked up a few stones from the ground and threw them towards the center of the green dots. The forehead is its weakness, and Shen Man aimed at it several times to hit it. After all, it was a woman who had a full point critical hit, and the damage from these few hits was not low. The wild boar felt pain, paused for a moment, and then rushed over even more angrily. 
Shen Man immediately ran back, separated by a small stream. The wild boar stepped on the edge of the stream and was ready to jump up. Unexpectedly, this happened to be the place where Shen Man plucked his fur, with smooth feathers piled all over the ground. The front hooves of a wild boar bear most of the weight of its body, and its fate can be imagined. The wild boar plunged into the water, and although the stream was shallow, its limbs were thick and short, and it was unable to land for a while. Over there, Shen Man breathed a sigh of relief and took the opportunity to recover his energy. This creek is wide on the top and narrow on the bottom, and she deliberately leads wild boars to jump from the wide area. According to the wild boar's aggressive nature, it is bound to jump without even looking. Since the plan is successful, then the next step is easy to handle. Shen Man stood in place, took out an axe and threw it directly at the wild boar's forehead, but unfortunately, the axe was made of wood. Even with Shen Man's critical strike support, the wild boar was unable to die on the spot. The wild boar became completely angry and jumped onto the shore, crashing toward Shen Man. Shen Man set up his prepared posture and accurately observed the distance between him and the wild boar. At the critical moment, she took off in place, flipped backwards in mid-air, stepped on the tree trunk with both feet, bent her knees and kicked, then ejected. After finding the position of the green dot, he flipped over and rode directly on the back of the wild boar. At the moment of sitting down, Shen Man picked up his axe and struck heavily on the wild boar's forehead. In just a few seconds, Shen Man had already swung his axe several times. The wild boar howled in pain and ran around, while Shen Man tightly gripped it with his legs to avoid being thrown off. During the chopping of the axe, the wild boar suddenly became motionless. Just as it was about to fall, Shen Man immediately flipped over and rolled down. There was a loud thud on the ground, and if she had just fallen short, she would have been smashed and broken her leg. Shen Man stood up with his hands on the ground, adjusting his rapid breathing in place. Although the battle was over, she was also caught in a dilemma. She had originally planned to roast the bird meat and leave immediately, but was unexpectedly attacked by a wild boar and her plan was disrupted. Now she has exhausted her energy, and whether she chooses to leave or stay, it is very dangerous. Choosing to leave, in case she encounters danger again and lacks energy, how should she deal with it? Even if she regained her energy on the way and resolved the danger along the way, she was exhausted when she returned to the exchange. The most important thing is that she has a premonition that there are already others in the exchange. Although they are both earthlings, their hearts are unpredictable, and she dare not let her guard down. Choosing to stay, the noise generated here is too loud, which is likely to attract other wild animals to come. Even if not attracted by the sound, there is a water source here, and animals will come here to drink water. After not hesitating for too long, Shen Man still chose to stay. Compared to gambling on uncertain dangers, staying seems more secure. Besides, she is already familiar with the terrain here, and even if there is a danger, she can use the terrain to cope. She first put the body of the wild boar into her backpack, and then climbed up a big tree. Anyway, it was always much safer on the tree than on the ground. One night passed, fortunately nothing happened. Having solved breakfast, Shen Man climbed down from the tree. Then she took out the wild boar from her backpack. It was too dark last night and she couldn't see its appearance clearly. Now she took it out and carefully examined it before deciding how to deal with it. As she had imagined, this wild boar was very heavy, with sparse needle hair on its black fur and two hard fangs exposed and flipped upwards. Due to the blue crystal scale armor, Shen Man was not injured by needle hair while riding a wild boar, which is why she dared to ride it. After some consideration, Shen Man decided to peel off the skin of the wild boar completely. This fur should be good for armor. But she already has blue crystal scales, so it's for sale. Fong can temporarily serve as a weapon. I thought I had to at least become the deputy leader of the Axe Gang to change weapons. There is a lot of wild boar meat, you can keep half and sell half, 
and this wild boar is very robust, so it should be able to sell for a lot of money. Be prepared, Shen Man immediately took action. She started with Fong Fong, as the quality of the axe was too poor to peel off. So Shen Man thought of using his fangs to peel the skin. These fangs were sharp and sharp, and if he took them off and polished them, they could be used as weapons for self.defense. After working hard for almost an hour, Shen Man finally managed to handle the wild boar. Rest in place and you can return to the exchange. She first clicked on her own state. ID, Gunner, Gender. Female, Race. Earthlings, Level. 9, Health. 95, Energy Value. 127, Skill. None, Crystal Coin. 200, Reputation. 0, The level has been raised again, and attribute points will continue to be mindless with critical hits. And except for the warrior who was upgraded to level 1, there was no change in his identity. This trip has yielded fruitful results. On the way back, there were no further incidents and we safely returned to the exchange. Shen Man had not yet entered when he saw other people trading inside. As Shen Man thought, but now she has plenty of energy and is equipped with weapons, so she is not afraid to face anyone. Of course, Shen Man had already taken off the pumpkin head before entering, and she didn't want to be surrounded. Shen Man calmly walked in, there were quite a few people, looking no less than twenty. Each person has their own ID displayed on their head, and at a glance, they see a lonely man, eating eight meals at a time, and stepping on the wind and fire wheels. All in a mess. As soon as she appeared, everyone was doing their own thing except for someone who had peeked at her. The nature of earthlings is to love to gather together. As soon as they enter, Shen Man sees those people gathering in groups. She took a glance and then withdrew her gaze. It had nothing to do with how others hugged her. Shen Man came to a panel and clicked on the trading button. The tools previously listed had already been sold out, and the crystal coins were temporarily stored on the exchange. A 20% transaction tax will be charged upon withdrawal. Shen Man withdrew 800 coins directly and received 640 coins. This tax rate is actually not bad, because some of the games Shen Man played before were directly charged half of the tax. That's the real black heart. After roast, Shen Man went to a place where there were few people. He took out the wild boar from his backpack and prepared to cut it on the spot. Her actions were too aloof and straightforward, attracting everyone else. The girl is amazing, where did she get the wild boar from? Selling such a big wild boar can earn a lot of crystal coins, right? Is this a wild boar? I've eaten wild pork before, it's very fishy and the meat is tough, making it difficult to bite. The discussions around him were full of gossip, but Shen Man couldn't even get in and simply ignored them, silently cutting her flesh. End of this chapter